the greatest gift any of us has is to know Jesus Christ. Uh, we were made for God and the one way to know God is through his son, our savior. And therefore, uh, that is the greatest gift we have and it's the kind of gift we cannot be selfish about. This year's theme for our appeal is sharing God's gifts, transforming lives. And the lives that are transformed are not only those who are supported by the appeal, but the lives of you and me who give for this work. Catholic Charities, which is entirely supported by your generosity, has divided our diocese into 13 different regions. In different ways, with different programs, Catholic Charities helps the local parish, the local school, the local hospital, the local community, to serve Christ in the needs of the poor, the elderly, the disadvantaged. Our diocese also sponsors what is called a spiritual healing retreat. It is designed to help people have a healing of memories, a healing of pain, a healing from all those burdens we carry that can separate us from God's love and from fellowship with our family and friends. It is and it will be an enormous spiritual gift to this local church. In American culture in this 21st century, more and more, God, the name Jesus Christ, faith of any kind is being excluded from education on every level. Catholic education does not exclude the Lord. It is our reason for being to put knowing God, knowing Jesus Christ, knowing the scriptures, knowing our tradition, at the heart of our education system. We are not ashamed of the name Jesus, and we will continue proclaiming the Lord, whether this world likes it or doesn't like it. This diocese has eight Newman centers serving college-age students. They range in size and in the kind of support we can give them but all of them are walking with your children and grandchildren. If young people rediscover or discover their faith while they're in college, they tend to be lifelong, dedicated Catholics for the rest of their lives. Another program that's active in this diocese is Totus Tuus. It comes from the motto of St. John Paul II that with all his heart, he honored Our Lady. Totus Tuus in this diocese has over 20 college-age students and seminarians who go out and evangelize grammar school students and high school students. They bring the faith to those people at their level. Another important evangelical program our diocese supports is called Escuela de la Fe, or the School of Faith. It primarily serves our Hispanic believers it's connected to an international movement. It's served by the laity who are trained by the diocese to bring Christ to the Spanish-speaking community or to deepen their experience of the Lord as they live their faith. We are gifted in this diocese with folks who are seeking God's will and hearing God's call. Our seminarians are hardworking, they're zealous, they are men of prayer. They are fun to be around. So I am very proud of the people that God is sending us as our future priests. The sacrificial giving that supports our seminary program goes for all sorts of basic needs. The need to pay seminaries. We have to pay faculty and staff. Obviously, the majority of our seminarians do not come from millionaire families. So their cost of living is real. They have all the usual expenses of people in school and our financial support allows them to pursue their vocation according to God's will. We have a program uh, to help people discern their vocation called Emmaus Days, helping people in these somewhat difficult days to discern a vocation. Those are times of prayer, of quiet, of friendship, that really have an enormous impact on people's lives. I am very happy to say sacrificial giving for the work of Christ is alive and well in the Diocese of Peoria. 
Every single diocesan appeal since the appeal was founded has been successful. I urge all of you to give some moments to prayer. Ask the Holy Spirit what you should do to support Christ's work, share God's gifts, and transform lives. And I give you wholeheartedly the blessing of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you.